Hey, what's up, everybody? Howie Spangler here. It is uh, episode number 153 of Tales from the Green Room podcast. How are we feeling? Uh, I'm currently f- recording this on Tuesday afternoon, July 19th. Hot AB outside. As balls. Hot AB. So uh, what's going on, man? Uh, had a great weekend of shows. Um, first off, let me just say, make sure you follow me on uh, Instagram and TikTok and uh, YouTube. Hit the subscribe button, smash the like button on any of the videos that you're watching, please. And uh, please ring the bell so you don't want to go live or upload a video. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Okay. That was called paying the bills, cleaning house getting my affairs in order. Um, <clears throat> we're currently listening to my Aberrations album. It is a free lo-fi album that you can use on any of your creations, like YouTube videos, podcasts, uh, videos that you're just showing your friends, live streams. Uh, I don't know, get creative. You can find it anywhere that you stream music. Um, and you can even download the files from my website, howiespangler.com, and uh, get yourself some dope tunes for your for your creations There's not enough good tunes out there for the kind of stuff so all that generic bullshit you know on the uh, on the stock websites nah you gotta like you gotta do this you know so um just got back from a trip i was in uh i was in florida for three days wednesday thursday friday last week and then i flew to uh do a show in Cleveland. Um, here's how it went down. I was trying to figure it out. I was like, all right, well, I need to be in Florida, right? But then I've got to be in Cleveland on Saturday. I'll be Florida Friday, Cleveland Saturday. <clears throat> you got to think outside the box for this stuff. So uh, I decided that I was going to drive to Pittsburgh from Maryland because I'll exp- all right, I'll explain in a minute. Drive to Pittsburgh Tuesday night. Took me about five hours to get there. Checked into my, to a hotel at 1.30 in the morning. Got up at 7. Drove to the airport in Pittsburgh. Flew to Orlando. Got there about 2 o'clock or so, 2 p.m. that afternoon on Wednesday. Got my rental car. Drove about an hour and a half to New Smyrna Beach. And I played New Smyrna Beach at Beachside Tavern. <clears throat> Fun times for sure. Uh, known Mark and Heather, the owners of that place for years. Going on 15 years. And um, anyway, they're uh, good people. And they always want to they always want to like take care of us. And um, so anyway, they, they, they brought me in to uh <clears throat> they brought me in to play some shows because they they heard that i was coming downtown and um i'll clear this queue up yo come on now all right and uh so i, I went there did that show and then thursday i played at a place called opportunities in delray beach uh for a nice couple Matt and Kelly. It was like a belated birthday present for her. And um, welcome to your 40s, Kelly. It's not that bad. It's actually pretty awesome. Uh, and then Friday, I did a private party at a friend's house in Port St. Lucie. Uh, sold some shirts. And I do have shirts now available on my website, guys. They are there. Um, some people were asking. So shop.howiespangler.com. And uh, yeah. Stuff is available. Um, and then, okay, so then Saturday morning, I get up at seven, jump in the shower, make sure I'm all good, get in the car, <clears throat> drove to the bank to deposit uh, any money that I may have made from, from these shows and merch, and then drove to Orlando from Port St. Lucie. Um, from there, I flew back to Pittsburgh, picked up my car. Of course, my flight was delayed like two hours, so I was late for my party that night. 
but they're super cool. I've been there three times now. They're a nice couple. Um, yeah, drove to Cleveland from the Pittsburgh airport and uh, did the show. And then probably went to bed around two in the morning. Got up at 7.30 or so. Started driving at like 8.15. Got home at like 3 p.m. or something like that on Sunday. So it was a crazy whirlwind of a week. Uh, thanks to everybody that came out. Thanks to everybody that, that had me. Um, I'm down to do these these uh, these parties, man. These acoustic private parties or little, you know, or venues or whatever. Um, just has to make sense, you know, with the travel and all that stuff. But uh, everybody's been very cool and giving, and they don't really mind the fee, which is great. And so, hit me in the DMs if you're if you're looking for a little party with you and your friends, put your money together or whatever, um, and I will come to you. Uh, not sure when I, I think September is going to be the earliest I can get back to this because um, the band has uh, has a tour coming up starting next weekend which is crazy damn reggae rise up and then we're doing it um, yeah pretty much all of August is not good for me and then uh, September so if anybody's trying to eke in a little cool little pool party or something before summer ends hit me up uh <clears throat> yeah so i i knew that i'd be late i wouldn't make the party on saturday if i flew from bwi um because it's like a seven hour drive from my house to to their house in the cleveland area so i was like oh i'll just drive to pittsburgh you know and it worked out it really did i had all the gear that i needed when i came back for this party uh all the all the places in Florida had everything ready for me. I just brought my guitar and uh, they had PA and all that stuff. So it just worked out, you know? Um, yeah, I've been really working hard on trying to pay off um, our wedding from last year, as well as, um, you know, other expenses and things that, that I've incurred uh, the last couple years. You know, <clears throat> trying to run this business and um, yeah. So thank you guys very much. Uh, I've also been producing other artists, recording, you know, mixing things like that. And uh, well, it looks like I just got a sale. Woohoo! Hey hey. Thank you, Christina from New Jersey. All righty. Um, very cool. Oh, wait, I got two orders here. Oh, they need to fulfill that. Okay. Um, awesome. So anyway, um, hope everybody's having a good day. Um, I'm going to be discussing something very soon, um, because we are we need uh, some support from the fans. Um, I'll get into it. I need to make a proper video, and then once it's out, I'll discuss it. I just need to figure out how I'm gonna how I'm gonna word this. Um, you know, so be on the lookout for that next uh, couple days, maybe. Um, anyway, so Bally, who's got some shows coming up? Um, we're gonna be doing two free shows this week. We are in. Albany, New York, this Thursday, the 21st, uh, at a live at five. And it's like, I believe it's downtown Albany. You can get on their website or there, there's also a, a Facebook event for this. If you're on the, if you're on the, the old FB, um, and then Friday, we're going to be at Mulcahy's pub in uh, Wontog, New York, which is uh, long Island. Um, oh, we always have good shows here. There was a lot of fun. So, um, come on out. This one's free. Uh, I'd say get there by seven and um, come rage with us <clears throat> next week. We are kicking it off, uh, kicking off the tour, man. We're going to be reggae rise up next Sunday, July 31st. Um, we're doing like the 6 PM slot on the vibe stage. I think that's what it's called. Um, so come see us so we can impress all our friends, bands, 
Uh, and then we got a tour with uh, Shwayze and Surfer Girl, um, August 2nd, and that's running to uh, August 20th. So um, come out for that. We're going to be in uh, in Indianapolis. Jeez, what is up with this? Okay. <clears throat> Indianapolis, Pueblo, Newcastle, Colorado, Fort Collins, Lawrence, Kansas, Iowa City, Aurora, Illinois, Schwing, uh, Kalamazoo is uh, Mi- Michigan, uh, Columbus, Warrendale is Pittsburgh area, Harrisburg, Wakefield, Rhode Island, Spencer, Mass for Terptown Throwdown. So look out for that. And then we just announced uh, the Hyrie tour. We're going out with Hyrie and Surfer Girls as well. Uh, that's kicking off um, October 5th in San Luis Obispo. So, um, yeah, man, I'm tired. I've been, it's been, it's been a long, long week. <laughs> uh, it's only Tuesday. No, I'm still kind of like recovering from that whole travel thing I just did. Um, tomorrow we're going to have rehearsals. We're working on a new uh, set for this, uh, for Reggae Rise Up and for the August run. Um, so it's going to be a couple older songs in there, a couple songs we haven't played in a while. Um, switching it all up. We've been playing like the same set for like nine months or something like that. And it's like, it's too long or too, you know, too long to be doing that much. And it was to the point where I was like, we were starting to get, you know, the same people coming out to the shows, you know, they'd follow us around for the weekend or, you know, we'd see them a month later or something, you know, just like hardcore fans. And I would actually feel bad printing out the set list. Being, Man, this is the same shit they saw like three months ago, you know? So, you know, we, we ch- I mean, change a few songs here and there, but for the most part, it's like the same show. So we're trying to change that up and not be so predictable. Um, I think we just got so comfortable opening with Message to the World because it's such a, such a cool song. And um, this music's distracting me now. Uh, it's such a cool song and it's just a great way to get the vibe and set the tone for the, for the evening, you know? So we would just keep rolling with that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, changing it up. And then, and we're also, uh, we use click tracks when we, when we play and some of the click tracks have actual tracks in them, like auxiliary stuff, like maybe some percussion or, or like some horns. Maybe you've heard some horns and seen no horns on stage when we, when we play. Um, you know, little extra bells and whistles that we did on the record that I wanted us to have, um, you know, for the live show as well. <clears throat> so we usually use uh, something called a Roland SPDSX pad. Um, and you, you, Donald will, we have these click tracks loaded and Donald just will just hit the, uh, he'll select whatever song and then he'll hit the, the button with his drumstick and then it starts the next track. And only we can hear the click track and the cues. Um, you guys just hear like the the cool tracks happening out front. Um, but uh, so anyway, we got a whole new system now that we're working on um, with a program called Ableton. Um, you may have seen bands with like laptops sitting on the stage off to the side or something. Um, that's what we're going to be doing. Um, it's going to be a much smoother, cleaner way of doing it. Once we figure it all out, get used to it, you know? Um, and, uh, looking forward to doing it. It's going to be a bit of a transition, but, um, the idea is to set it and forget it. Like just do the show and not have to like worry about triggering new stuff, like let it all happen automatically. Um, and even giving ourselves enough time to take a break in between a few songs and like uh, talk to the crowd and take a shot or something, you know? So we're definitely looking forward to that. Um, our boy Sebastian is helping us facilitate that. He's been working on a project file for a while. We've got a bunch of songs and um, yeah. So rehearsal is tomorrow and then, uh, yeah, we're going to do that. I'll tell you what, I hate this. Uh, I hate this um, noise gate right now. This is killing me. I'm going to like turn this back up. There we go. That's a little better. Yeah, that was super annoying. Sorry. Uh, my air conditioning's on, so I was, I was using the noise gate. That's what that noise is in the background. 
<laughs> and uh, had the noise gate on, and every time I talk, it closes, so it's like, whoop, whoop, whoop. Anyway, um, yeah. What else has been happening? I, I just started recording. I don't have anything to say. I really don't. I just uh, figured I would just talk another stream of consciousness kind of thing. Um, working on recording. I'm doing some, uh, working on some guitar stuff and some vocal tracks for some new songs. Uh, we got, we did the first batch a couple months ago. Uh, I think back in May. I think this one that was anyway, um, did like half of an album and then I'm hoping to go back this fall and do the other half of the album. Um, and really start narrowing down like the track list. Ideally, I would like to end up with 14 or 15 songs on an album. I feel like, I feel like people have got so used to singles dropping, right? And it may not be, maybe you're not thinking about it. I don't know, but, um, how cool would it be if we just released like 14 or 15 brand new songs, you know? I mean, you're going to hear a few singles leading up to it, like normal, just like it's always been. Even even back in the CDs days and MTV, the single and the music video would drop out like months before the album comes out. So it's kind of the same thing, but a little more free to do what you want, especially being an indie artist, you know? But uh, so yeah, we'll drop a few singles the next uh, over the rest of the year and then hopefully have a record come out in the spring. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, so I've been working on that for a while. I've been writing a lot and um, just trying to put our best foot forward like always, you know, uh, fighting with my wife. Those are always fun days. Um, it's always over dumb shit too. Can't get over ourselves and just move on. <laughs> so I'm hoping this, uh, I figure if I, if I wait it out and don't say anything, it's just going to go away and everything will be fine. <laughs> That's a complete opposite of how things happen around here. There needs to be closure. You do need to talk about things. I'm having a sip of water. It's the uh, ASMR part of the show. Um, <clears throat> live streaming on Wednesday night, uh, tomorrow night. And uh, I, I missed, I missed one last week because I was gone. Um, and so I'll be able to do one this week and next week, and then I'm going on tour, and I'm gonna miss it for a few weeks, and it sucks because it's cool to just be here at my house, just playing tunes, you know, on Wednesday nights. And the community we've we've built over there has been so cool and everybody's just happy to be there and pumped and requesting songs and it just feels nice, you know, <clears throat> and, uh, got people in the discord every day talking and, um, yeah, it's just been great. And uh, I feel bad when I have to go away and, and I can't do it. So, uh, working on it. Um, I'd love to be able to do this from the road. I'm not sure if that's possible, but you know, I'll try. Um, it's just never really a quiet place to do it. So working on getting some more guests lined up for the podcast as well. Um, I'm sure I'll be interviewing, uh, or having a conversation with, uh, with Brandon from Bump and Uglies pretty soon. Um, they got a record coming out in September, mid Atlantic dub that I produced and uh, it sounds great. The songs are really good and I think you guys are gonna love it. So we'll have them on here soon. If there's anybody else that you'd like to uh, hear on the show, maybe hear about their, their career or whatever, let me know and I'll try to get them on, you know? Um, let me see what else is happening. <sighs> I'm selling shit, I'm trying to sell some things. Um, I have too much stuff still. So if you, if you want to get some stuff for your studio or maybe I've got some bullshit you might be interested in, I don't know, hit me up. Well, I guess that's it. I don't know what else to talk about. I just want to say hi and um, check in or whatever. 
uh, no idea what to say. Anyway, well, have a great day. Everybody take care. And uh, yeah, talk to you soon. All right. Peace out. Later.